Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to build this mega big birdhouse, bird villa. In the middle we have um, a water well and there's also some space for just regular old bird seed, um, a cage for a protein bar and uh, a space for some peanuts uh, for the squirrels. It's all going to be kept nice and warm by an ultraviolet lamp at night uh, throughout the long cold winter nights. And before that, we gotta demolish the old thing that we got here. And then uh, we just found some plywood. Um, we're cutting up the base, uh, cutting up some of the main structural pieces and putting everything together. This is the base here. Um, you can make it as big or as little as you want. Uh, we're using some glue as well as um, a uh, as well as a nail gun and then in the middle goes the water well. We're gonna insulate it because we're putting some moss in the middle so we don't want it to rot over time. Um, again, nail gun that in place. Um, these wooden structures will just serve as boards um, to kind of keep everything in place, not let anything fall over. We got really using glue. Uh, the roof is gonna be slanted. Um, you can make it again as little um, or as tall as you, as short as you want it to be using glue to place them in and then securing them with a nail gun you get the gist placing our roofs over top of now um, we're giving them a good slam so the water can roll off of it again there will be moss on the top so that any rainwater will at least be absorbed and um, overall the structure will remain pretty solid and not rot over time. Insulating again uh, with just some plastic that we found, stapling it in there. Um, I think this is a pretty important step if you want to keep it fresh um, over years. Cutting the excess here. And then this mesh part, um, I'm going to cut it for uh, as big as I want it to be. Um, this is just to keep the peanuts in for the squirrels. So stapling it in place again. Uh, we want our squirrels to work for our, their peanuts. Um, so we're just putting them in this metal cage. And then uh, some of the bird feed will also go into this hanging metal cage. Um, this kind of thing, I mean, it's not really necessary, but I, I just thought it would be more fun to add. You can get it on Amazon or any place like that or make it yourself. And then we're just putting our legs on here. Uh, we want this to be uh, pretty tall up there. I mean, mo most of the time birds Bird feeders uh, go onto trees. Uh, this will be a freestanding one on the ground, uh, just under a tree, so we want it to be fairly tall. On the bottom here, we'll place some moss, uh, just for an extra layer, because why not? Make it blend in with the environment. Once again, putting in some insulation. Now we're gonna find the place for our new bird home. We're gonna make an even ground and we're gonna put it in. Make sure it's nice and secure. And now one of the most important pieces is the lamp. Uh, moss we source from our own backyard. Just cut it up and put it into place like so. Cut whatever you need off and as well on the roof. Uh, I put some around the water well to make it nice and homey for the birds and in go the peanuts. Uh, this is a special 
protein uh, feed for the birds goes right into there and then some seeds and nuts just sprayed on the ground there I'll refill these every few days water goes in the middle once again this will not freeze because of the um, heated lamp on the top this is the key feature here and there you go some pretty lice to make it nice and homey and we wait for the birds to show up turn that thing on there they are oh, first night and we already have five visitors nothing big um, these are just some of our local birds but we're excited to see what else we can get in the future and this is it at night thank you guys so much for following along and i hope this helps uh, some of you and inspires you to build your own bird feeders like this uh, follow and like for more subscribe